everyone, as we wrap up an incredible year, I'm thrilled to share the highlights of the Stee Sinner Foundation's journey in 2023. So grab a drink, follow our socials, and let's dive into the impact we made together. Empowering educators to fostering initiative education projects, this year has been nothing short of amazing and full of inspiration. We've been on a mission to make quality education accessible for all, and with your support, it has been the driving force behind every success. The Learning Resource Centres and Digital Classrooms are delivering excellent learning and development for educators, students and their wider communities in Haiti, the Gambia and Sierra Leone. The Positive Periods Programme has reached 150,000 women and girls in Cuba, Guinea-Bissau, Haiti and Sierra Leone this year. The Prevention of Gender-Based Violence Programme has reached 45,000 educators in Cap Verde, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau and Senegal. Our Youth Ambassador Programme engaged 200 young people in Cuba, the Gambia and Sierra Leone. We have also provided counselling skills for 270 educators delivered in the Gambia. We supported Special Educational Needs Awareness Workshops for 250 educators in the Gambia and Sierra Leone. The Croy Literacy Programme services 180 learners in Haiti and a further set of 50 bicycles were delivered to students in rural villages to support them to travel to school safely in the Gambia. How MCC? Who school did you go in Amos class? Class to Aladi Islam Primary School. What did you then give today? Books, bag, pencil, how you feel with the ingredients in there? I've been fine. What thing will be message to the organization? I will tell you, thank you. What's the thing you today? Book, pencil, sharpener, razor, wula, bag. How you feel? I feel fine. What thing will be message to this organization? I will tell you, thank you for what they do for me today. I will bless them. On this gender-based violence, it is everything about the whole exercise is highly educative, and we highly appreciate that. We pray that they continue to fund this project so that it can spread wide of the, the districts. We are in other schools who have not yet benefited this training can also benefit this particular training. So our kids will be highly protected. We work a lot with the Senate Foundation. Just recently, we launched another digital classroom in another rural area, which is in Katong. The digital classroom is making a mark in the lives of those poor children because some of them have never ever even seen a television, much more interact with the TV. So it is changing their lives, it is transforming their lives, it is boosting up enrollment. Before then, some of those students will not even come to school. But now, knowing fully well that there's this new gadget there's this new innovation that they have to interact with is encouraging them to come to school every day these stories remind us of why our work matters it's about changing lives and creating a ripple effect that will last for generations there are some things that should never be left to chance in life and striving to achieve quality education for all the world's children is one solidarity it is founded on the principle of human solidarity Quality education for all is important to me because it is a major contributor to justice and peace in the world. The foundation is hugely important to me in honouring Steve Sinet's legacy and in doing all we can to campaign for quality education globally, especially for girls and women. Sustainability. Because it wasn't that long ago when not everyone by law was not allowed to be educated. Education gives individuals access to life-changing choices. Because I believe whether the children are here or abroad, that they should have an equal opportunity of achieving their God-given dream through education. Responsive. I believe quality education in its broadest sense is vital. Supporting and enabling people to live at the centre of who they are, to have access to information that will allow them to make choices, to develop and to move forward in their lives. Quality education for all is a fundamental human right without which we cannot achieve social, political and economic equality. Equity. Quality education is important to me because it is the root out of poverty and injustice. 
It promotes tolerance and understanding of other points of view and it allows people, whatever their background, to make informed decisions and therefore move towards a more fair and just world. Our greatest poet and truth teller, Benjamin Zephaniah, once said that the education system has no understanding, no compassion and no humanity. I think those words today resonate more importantly than ever before if we think about the circumstances of the world. What does quality education for all mean? It means teachers, students, communities around the world creating spaces, places of curiosity and hope so that we can, as Benjamin said, develop and create understanding, demand compassion and recognise humanity in all of its forms, whether that is with we as peoples or with our natural environment. So I guess I'm going to respond to the question, what does quality education for all mean with those wonderful words from Benjamin? Importance, empowerment, economic development, equality and social justice are all underpinned with and by good education. And that impacts people's health and well-being by allowing them to become critical thinkers and leads to personal fulfilment. The reason I volunteer is because it brings together an incredible global education community. And in that community, we're all working together to make sure that all young people have access to a high quality education. And hey, that's the reason we went into teaching, isn't it? Embraces the world. Education can help us to welcome and value our infinite human diversity. Compassion, because Sustainable Development Goal 4 underpins all of the other SDGs and empowers young people to become the initiative leader of tomorrow. We need our future leaders to come from diverse backgrounds and think outside the box to ensure the sustainability of our planet. As we step into the new year, our commitment to education remains unwavering. Together we can achieve even greater heights. So stay tuned for exciting projects and opportunities with us in 2024. As this year comes to a close, I am truly grateful and I know that I speak on behalf of everybody at the Foundation. We're truly grateful for the work of all our partners in achieving access to education for so many children globally. Thank you to each and every one of you who have supported our work this year. However you celebrate the festive season, we wish you peace and joy and we hope that you spend some time to rest and rejuvenate and we look forward to working with you again in 2024 to provide education for all children everywhere. <laughs>